Oh, hi there, Miss Erin here. Are you ready for story time? Today, we're going to be reading The Three Sisters, Indigenous Agricultural Knowledge, written by Daniela Perez. The Three Sisters. This is the story of the three sisters that helped people realize the importance of working together. The three sisters live together in a garden. Even though they are quite different from one another, they help each other grow. The youngest sister is short and round. She can only crawl. Her name is Squash. The middle sister has the brightest dress and loves looking for the sun. Her name is Bean. The eldest sister stands very straight and tall. Her name is Corn. The three sisters play for hours in the garden, always learning and laughing. <laughs> they love each other dearly and always stay together. This makes them very strong. When native people speak of the three sisters, they're referring to corn, beans, and squash, known to them as the sustainers of life. Do you recognize any of these foods? Hmm, maybe some tortillas, beans, squash. Ooh, and those look like squash blossoms. Mmm, tacos. There's starch and carbohydrates in the tortilla made from corn. Some protein and fibers from the beans. And vitamins from the squash. The three sisters are crops that live together in a beautiful garden. Native people all over America grow them together because they help each other grow. Sister Corn. Sister Corn is the oldest, strongest, and tallest sister. She gives her sisters structure. Corn is a grass similar to the one in your lawn. Over 300 species of corn exist. That's a lot of corn. Sister Bean. Sister Bean is the most creative sister. Can you find the small bumps in her roots? These nodules produce food for all plants by adding nitrogen to the soil. This helps her sisters eat and grow strong. Fun fact, bean stems circumnutate. They wrap around structures looking for the sun to grow. Sister corn helps sister bean by giving her a structure to wrap around. Sister squash. The little sister grows close to the ground. Her leaves and stems are large and prickly. Ouch! This helps keep the pests away. She gives her sisters protection. The three sisters grow together in a garden. Their well-being depends on their relationship. Squash is on the ground. Corn is in tall, strong stalks and beans circumnutate or wrap around the corn to grow towards the sun. Sister corn holds sister bean by the hand so that her leaves can wrap around. Sister bean holds both her sister's hands because she helps them grow with the nitrogen in her roots. And sister squash has one hand in the ground protecting her sisters from pests. The end. Wow, what a great story. Which sister do you think you're most like? Do you think you're like the corn, the oldest and tallest of the sisters providing structure? Maybe you're like Bean, the middle sister who's creative and provides lots of nutrients and fun to the family. Or maybe you're like the little sister, Squash, where she protects her family from pests. Thanks so much for joining us today for story time. If you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. And for more museum fun, check us out on our social media and our website. Well, until next time, I'm Miss Erin. See ya.